I hope nothing's happened to him. Nothing happened to him. He probably just found a way to get laid. This is so typical of that kid. I don't really seek out any particular role. What you look for is the quality of the writing. Eli Michelson, Nobel laureate. Alan Rickman plays a chemist uh, whose name is Eli Michelson. He's just won the Nobel Prize in Chemistry. On the eve of Eli receiving the Nobel Prize, he gets a call that his son has been kidnapped. I have your son, Doctor. You will only survive if I receive two million unmarked pills. Oh, bull. Cut the shit, Barkley, and get your ass on a plane to Sweden. It's very enjoyable to play an adult who's also a 12-year-old. Eli's a tough part to play because he's such a bad guy, but the way Alan plays him, you kind of enjoy Eli. Barkley doesn't even know how big a single molecule is. Do you, Barkley? I think Alan is just having so much fun creating a great character. From the second he got on the set, Eli became a real person. But they said no cops, sir. Do you have call waiting? No! So it's very easy to, to find that part of me that wants to smash his face in because he's really impossible. I'd like to thank you all for coming tonight. Some of you willingly, some of you are in spite of yourselves. Tomorrow I'm off to claim my Nobel Prize. Well, one of the main reasons also for doing the film was the actors that I was going to be working with, and uh, I've always admired Mary Steenburgen. Mary Steenburgen plays Alan Rickman's wife. She's Sarah Michelson. She's a PhD. She's a forensic psychiatrist. She gets into the minds of killers. I'm so sorry. You see, the genius part of his brain is so big that it's just swallowed up the civilized part of his brain, causing this monstrous antisocial behavior. Obviously, huge things happened to this family with the kidnapping of our son, but also, I think that I find my um, courage. Sir, put the gun down. You don't get the fuck off my lawn right now. I'm gonna use it. In the course of this film, so much happens in such an intense way. I watch both these two men, my husband and I watch Max, deal with this horrendous event of our son's kidnapping, and um, I think it, it further divides my husband and myself and, and makes me feel that much closer to Max. She has a good friend who's played by Bill Pullman, who is Detective Max Mariner. She and Detective Mariner have a have a have a, a close bond. I think that Eli's character is kind of revealed somewhat unflatteringly, and that creates the fissure between them that then opens up the, some other possibilities for Max and Sarah. Oh, good guy, Max. Oh, not to everyone, but I'm crazy about you. I was. Um, Absolutely honored to work with both Alan Rickman and Bill Pullman. They're two extraordinary actors, and they're both, they're very different, but they're both perfect for their roles. We just do this tomorrow, Max. We're not going to catch these guys anyway. I'm sure they're long gone by now. It's always great to work with young actors who are at the beginning of their career. And they came always ready to make the scene as great as they could. Why does he have both thumbs? Eli, would you have felt better about the two million dollars if he'd lost one? This is the edge, sir, and explain to me whose thumb was sent to us in Stockholm if Barkley has both of his. It's a great ensemble of actors, but that always takes the pressure off any individual actor, I think, because it's, it's good to be part of a team. Any more of that publicity and you will be insured a place on the lucrative lecture circuit. You think the Nobel Prize alone would ensure you that kind of notoriety? When, when the writing's really good, you can see all sorts of images dancing around among the words on the page.